Tomorrow is the day that many high schoolers know of before they even enter high school, prom. It is seen as a pinnacle of the high school experience and the night that many people will remember all of their lives. It is a night that has been ingrained into American culture long before any of us were even born. So where the heck did this cultural phenomenon come from? Well, the prom didn't even start in high schools. It actually started in colleges at the Northeastern US, held for college's graduating class of that year. Parents and educators in high schools, however, thought that the formal dinner and dance would instill a set of social skills and etiquette in teenagers, so they started holding their own versions of the balls. The very early ones were like the ones held in colleges. The senior class, dressed in semi-formal clothes, gathered in a gym for tea and light refreshments, socializing, and dancing. It stayed as a semi-formal event that was more of a get-together instead of an all-out party. However, that changed in the 1950s due to the increasing economic prosperity in the United States due to the Second World War. The proms soon became more elaborate, with high schools being able to put more money into them. High school gyms began to become abandoned for banquet halls, hotels, and country clubs. With the introduction of these newer and nicer locales, the students in turn started to dress better and better. This inevitably turned out as it always does with teenagers, a competition. Teens started to strive to have the best dress, the best cars, and the best looking date. Designation for the prom court also intensified as the designation of prom king and queen became an important distinction of popularity. While the prom night is mostly a fun experience, it hasn't always been that way for everyone. An Alabama principal was sued in 1994 for threatening to cancel a prom if an interracial couple attended. And in 1979, two South Dakota boys became the first same-sex couple to openly attend prom, and some schools still have anti-gay bans in place. But my favorite relic of the past has to be this line found in an old prom preparation book. Girls who try to usurp the rights of boys to choose their own dates will ruin a good dating career. By and large, the prom has had a positive impact on the high school experience. It gives juniors and seniors a night to remember all of their lives. It's a pinnacle of the high school experience and exemplifies everything that makes it fun to be a teenager.